In the red corner, representing Germany, Ama Abdul Jabba. So we remain in the 91 kilogram heavyweight division, and there is the boxer ranked equal number 29 in the world. Hamburg's Amar Abdul Jabbar came through his quarter, excuse me, round of 16 contest in really dramatic fashion on a split decision. His opponent is the tournament number four seed, ranked number 15 in the world, and that is Ulad Dislau. Smialikov, 28 years of age now, is the man from the Gomel region. His birthday was in April. Comes to the ring. More on his credentials in a moment. There's confirmation of that 4-1 split that he was able to earn over Konstantin Pinchuk, the Ukrainian-born boxer who represents Israel. It was Dr. Point in the second round for excessive holding in what was an untidy affair. It was it. Victory for Smialikau over the man from Ukraine. Serhai Horskov to progress through to this quarterfinal contest. We've got judges from Puerto Rico, Indonesia, United States of America, Kazakhstan, and Cuba who are using the 10 point must system to score this one from various vantage points around the ring. So we're underway then. Terrific start by the man in red, the more compact operator Abdul Jabbar of Germany immediately onto the front foot and looking to target the long, lean torso of the broad-shouldered boxer in blue. Blistering start by the man in red, reminiscent of what he produced yesterday, Alex, but he wasn't able to maintain this and his work became more ragged as the contest went on. But here he has set his stall out early, looking to score with bent arm punches to the body of the taller boxer. Well, maybe he just needed one bout yesterday, Ron, to get him going because I don't think he even started this quickly yesterday. Second bout of the tournament for both of these boxers. Remember the winner through to Tokyo 2020. Let's not forget as well that most of these guys do know who they're going up against and probably are planning strategies prior to the contest as well. And maybe the German team decided we start fast, we maintain, we close the, the distance, don't let this guy use his range and his jab. Telegraphed that right hand over the top, but then he scored with a belting left to the body and followed up with a right hand over the top. And look at the reddening around the left eye of Smir Likau, the tournament number four seed in blue. He's trying to get his own offense together and accommodating the more compact figure in mid-range. Yeah, I was just looking at that, thinking to myself, that's very, very risky strategy against Abdul Jabbar, who's physically very powerful. Smir Likau trying to establish that jab, but he's walked back to the ropes as that left eye continues to Reading, and we have a cut. The right hands over the top have opened up the left eye of the man in blue. Now we're going to have to wait to see whether this cut is being caused by a punch. That's my instinct. Referee hasn't noticed the injury yet, or if he has noticed it, he's allowing the contest to carry on. But a cut to the left eye of the tournament number four seed And now time has been called by the referee. So Abdul Jabbar will be sent to the neutral corner. Let's watch the gesture of the ref. And he's indicating that it's a clash of heads. Well, those arcing right hands that came over the top, I thought it was one of those that caused the injury. But the bumping of the knuckles together by the referee suggests that this injury has been caused by an accidental head clash. So if the bout is stopped because of that cut, we'll be going to the scorecard. And if that does happen, Ron, there's only one man that's going ahead here. And it's the man in red. It's been a really aggressive start, and that cut continues to leak despite the intervention of the doctor. So Smir Likau has got his hands full, not only with a marauding, aggressive opponent, but also he has the inconvenience and adversity of a cut eye to deal with as well. And without wishing to be overly graphic, that will inspire Abdul Jabbar even further. He'll no doubt look to target that injury, make it perhaps more severe. 
in a bid to get his man out of there. Terrific opening round of action-packed boxing from 91 kilogram heavyweights. Abdul Jabbar with a blistering start that he was able to maintain for three minutes. Very, very good. Took to his heels as soon as that bell went. He shut the taller, figure and blew down and didn't give him any room at all. Smile like out, did try. Very, very hard to push Abdul Jabbar back. Was warned a couple of times for pushing as well, Ron. So Abdul Jabbar taking it for three wow. of the judges. Judge one and five preparing the work of Smear Lick out. I think Abdul Jabbar can perhaps consider himself unfortunate there because he was the busier boxer and indeed the boss over the course of that three minutes. Without a shadow of a doubt. So into the second round then. It's a 3-2 split after three minutes of boxing in favour of the compact boxer wearing red. Amar Abdul Jabbar from Hamburg in Germany competed. Oh, that's a bombing right hand over the top. He measured his man with the left hand and then fairly looped over the overhand right. And now it's Abdul Jabbar complaining about reckless use of the head from Smear Likau. Good job from Smear Likau there. But countered by Abdul Jabbar, a good body shot. Terrific left hand sunk into the body by Abdul Jabbar. Can he maintain this run, this tempo and this work rate? Smear Likau looking to establish that long left hand on the back foot. There's a left hand dug into the body by Abdul Jabbar once again. Smear Likau looking to impose his physicality and pushing the German boxer back. Tries to time Abdul Jabbar coming in. Smear Likau with that short, neat right hand. Well, let's keep an eye on Abdul Jabbar because this is beginning to resemble the contest we saw against Konstantin Pinchuk yesterday. He was of a similar stature to Smear Likau. And the more the contest went on, Abdul Jabbar began to hold more and more. But here he is letting his hands go. But look at that after the burst of activity, claiming his man in a clinch to gain some respite. I think he's managing a little bit better, Ron, to maintain the tempo than what it was yesterday. Maybe just that ring rust. Get that bout done and out the way. So time called once again as the doctor called up to inspect that injured left eye for the second time in the contest. So the action resumes just over a minute to go in the second round. Abdul Jabbar will also have had some time to recover and Hidney looking to take advantage of it as he comes forward with an up jab, marauds his man back towards the ropes. Spoken to about holding, we said yesterday Alex, he was Dr. Point in the second round for excessive holding. Wants to watch that he doesn't fall foul of the referee here at this quarter-final bout because he's holding once again, then look, let his right hand go. Smear Likau again trading off at short and mid-range. Just trading. Oh, good body shot there. Abdul Jabbar breathing through an open mouth. That backhand of Smear Likau not too far away. He looks for the same shot once again. But he simply cannot keep this man in red off to establish his own straight punches consistently. Good right hands there from Smear Likau. He's starting to find the target a little bit more regularly now, Ron. Trying to time Abdul Jabbar on the way in. Doesn't have any success there. That was a good right hand landed by Abdul Jabbar. Then a good left hook upstairs, countered by a right hand, and then a right uppercut from Smear Likau. Left hook on the inside. It was a half hook, half uppercut from the man in blue. Very hard fought three minutes. Now, remember, as he slumps onto his corner stall, Abdul Jabbar. Three minutes now in between these boxes and Tokyo 2020. This man took round one for judges one and five. How will they score the second three minutes, which looked to be far more competitive to my mind than the first? It certainly did. Well, we see some interesting scores again here. 
Smialiko definitely had more success in that second round, particularly with the right hand as Abdul Jabbar ambled forward. So it's a 3 2, a 4 1 split in favour of Abdul Jabbar. He leads 20 points to 18 for judges 3 and 4. Topsy turvy scorecards given that this man took rounds 1 and 5. Excuse me, rounds, the round one for judges one and five. This contest remains on a knife edge with just three minutes separating the victor of this bout from a place in Tokyo 2020. But that is a long way away. Who will be able to dig deep in their reserves of energy? Bicep of Abdul Jabbar catching Smir Likau and then he lands a clipping hook on the inside, does the man in red. Sturdy chin demonstrated by Smialikau. Right on the point of the chin as well, Ron. Good right hand from Smialikau there. Changes up the attack, shoots her straight right to the body. Abdul Jabbar dropping that head. He's, he's been worn for the head a few times as well, Ron. Trade off at centre ring, finished by a good right hand to the body by Abdul Jabbar. The referee really has his hands full here. Exchange of lead left hands. Abdul Jabbar scoring with the left again. Bombing right hand not too far away from the man in blue. And it's Abdul Jabbar who wraps his man up. He could well get docked a point here if he continues to operate in this vein. That is stern admonishment from the referee. Good left jab to the body. Landed by Abdul Jabbar. He's just doing that little bit more work. That he's that little bit busier, a little bit more active. Good right counter punch. The top yeah. Twice in quick succession from Abdul Jabbar, make it three times. And Smir Likau tries to counter with the same shot, but that was three right hands without reply from Abdul Jabbar. Smir Likau really has to put his foot on the gas now, Ron, if he wants to see us through. Good left hand landed to the body. It may have been a slap from Abdul Jabbar, but it landed solidly nonetheless. Smir Likau having his head pulled down, walking his man back towards the blue corner. Inside the final minute of a contest that was in the balance coming into the third and final round. Both men trying to establish their jabs. The roundhouse right from Abdul Jabbar finds a target. And Smir Likau not able to free his hands and work away. He's finding this increasingly difficult to find room to punch. Abdul Jabbar ambles forward again, trying to drop that right hand over. Smialikau really, Ron, doesn't have any option now but to stand and trade and try and get Abdul Jabbar out of there. Both men feeling the effects of this contest. They are giving everything in their bids to progress through to Tokyo 2020. Oh. What a right hand. It causes the knees of Smir Likau to dip. Abdul Jabbar swarming forwards, uncoiling a left hook and punching away right up until the final bell. Smir Likau can only hold on because he appeared to be visibly hurt by that roundhouse right. And just look at how much both of these boxers have given in their bid to become Olympians later this summer at Tokyo 2020. A terrific effort by both boxers. For what it's worth, I feel that it will be Germany's Amar Abdul Jabbar who will be going through. And so do I, Ron. Good left hook there from Jabbar. I think that's just sealed it for him, Ron, that, that last 20 second salvo. And just look at what it means to Amar Abdul-Jabbar having been declared a unanimous point decision victor over the tournament number four seed and 15th ranked boxer in the world. Amar Abdul-Jabbar is now an Olympian, an incredibly, incredibly hard fought affair. A magnificent effort from him where he continued to dig deep to summon up his last reserves of energy and the moments of hard-hitting quality that he produced in the closing stages, perhaps decisive in tilting that third round in his favour. We have to give credit to Ulad Zislaw Smialikov, who competed with everything that he had 
but he had real difficulty keeping this swarming figure in red at bay and his incessant educated pressure paid dividends in the end. Well, he started very fast and he finished very fast, Ron, didn't he, tonight? And he deserves that spot, he really does. He worked so hard for that and there's the scores, Ron. So unanimous three score 